All right, here is the quadratic equation or quadratic formula continued. Um, this chart shows you a summary of the methods of solving quadratic equations that we have learned in this chapter. So the first method to solving a quadratic equation is being able to graph it. So here is our quadratic equation. And what we can do is we can use a graphing calculator and we could type it in like this. And we find the x-intercepts. So here's an x-intercept, an x-intercept, and we get approximate values. The second method is we could factor it. So it's showing you an equation in standard form, and we could set up our diamond. The top of the diamond is our factors of AC. We have to add to the bottom of our diamond of B, which are positive 3 and positive 1. So then we have it in factored form. We use our zero product property, and we get our two solutions. Another way is to use square roots. So we have a quadratic equation that we could square root both sides and solve, and we get that solution. Our next method is completing the square. With completing the square, you want to make sure that C is on the right-hand side. Then you take half of B square it and add it to both sides. So here is the half of B added to both sides. And then you solve it. The most recent method is the quadratic formula. So again, here is our quadratic equation. It has to be in standard form. We substitute it into the formula, and then we simplify it. So this is just a chart for you. And this chart also explains when you might use this method. So again, we have the method, when to use it, and an example. Helpful hint, no matter which method you use to solve this quadratic equation, you will get the same answer.